So for today, not too bad. Sitting at 92 for our high, just really close to our average temperatures. And same for our lows. We got to 69 early this morning, those 70s. Staying away from those records, even though we saw 106 yesterday, it's nice to see some cooler air, especially because of a cold front. We did have a few storms that passed through very early this morning, but those clouds slowly cleared out, as you can kind of see. Some low-level clouds and a few in the upper atmosphere. Those high, wispy, cirrus clouds are going to be sticking around for us as we go into tonight. Slowly cooling off, and we're going to continue to see winds coming in from the north. So even a nice break from the warm temperatures with even the breeze, even though a lot of us sitting at 86, 85, Brady and Coleman being some of the cooler spots, 91, San Angelo, Mertzen, same thing, 92 at Azona. So a very cool day as opposed to what we saw yesterday and a very not active day because we were seeing some storms that are going to be that came through yesterday we're going to stay dry for the next several days it was windy to begin the day as that cold front came out we saw 41 mile per hour gusts at one point here in san angelo 45 towards sterling and even mostly upper 30s for a lot of us lowest we're seeing right now is 36 out junction and mason and menard Nothing compared to that storm we saw in San Angelo yesterday where they got up to 60 to 70 miles per hour, but still a pretty windy day to start as that cold front was pushing through. We're going to see the more benefits, though, tonight as we hit 68 for our lows and continuing to see low 90s for tomorrow as well. A few clouds are going to be still sticking around, but it'll still be a nice day. We're going to watch early, though, on our Wednesday to see some very isolated showers out towards Crockett and Reagan County. This is looking at 3.30 in the morning. Very widespread, maybe one or two getting into the fringes of that those counties. So staying dry for most of the Concho Valley. Same thing for Wednesday as well with plenty of sunshine. And then again, a little bit of some skirting the counties in our eastern part on Friday evening. One or two out towards closer to uh, Mason County, maybe see one rogue storm coming out for them in the heat of the day and later in the evening, and then we see it dry back out. So really, just one or two touching of storms getting a little bit into the Concho Valley, but majority of us staying dry. And then as we go into Saturday, We'll start to see some warmer temperatures coming back with mid-90s. So enjoy the low 90s and even the cool evenings. 67 for us as we go into Wednesday. Getting some 70s that are coming back because it's a slow, gradual warm-up. 90 tomorrow, 92 by Thursday, mid-90s by Friday and Saturday. Once again, those little light chances are on the outskirts and fringes of the Concho Valley. Then next week, we do have to start to warm up quite a bit. 97 by Sunday, upper 90s by next week. So we are going to see a 106. That was yesterday, a hot start to the week. But we're going to stay in the low 90s for the next several days and see some 60s coming through as well. That is going to be one thing nice before we see a nice setup of a high pressure and ridge that are going to be coming through on Monday and Tuesday, bringing back those 99s. Already starting to see 102 by Tuesday, so it is going to be a couple of hot days after that. So be thankful for that cold front. I came through very early this morning. Still had a few warnings. Actually, some severe thunderstorm warnings I saw very early in the morning that came through, but then it cleared out, dried out, and kept us cool in those 90s.